What is going on everybody? It is Tommy here at saleslucky.com and I uh, recently just came back from a vacation in Colombia. A lot of you guys know that I had lived there for about a year in Medellin, Colombia and today's post is inspired by that experience. Um, these are the top three things that I learned as it regards to relates to sales when I was living in Medellin, Colombia, okay? Number one, I learned that communication is way more nonverbal than it is verbal. So I had, I had some experience uh, learning and speaking a little bit of Spanish before, some Spanish before I went, but when I went, I really wanted to get better at Spanish. Let's be real. I wanted to talk to, to, the, to the local girls there, I wanted to meet girls, and, and to do that well, I, want, I, I wanted to speak better Spanish. And what had shocked me was just how much I was able to communicate just by the nonverbal, the, the body language, and the tonality of my communication. And this is very important in sales. We've all heard, you know, we most of us have heard that communication is only 7% the words we use, 38% tonality, and 55% body language. And when I was in Columbia, this absolutely was true. You know, a lot of times when we're learning a new language or in any new environment, try anything new, we kind of feel um, a little bit self-conscious or like we're we like not sure if we're doing it right. But what I've noticed, especially when uh, practicing a new language in, in, in the local area is that people, it's, it's more endearing. If you try to speak Spanish, if you, if you go to China and you try to speak Chinese to Chinese people, most likely they're not going to judge you, but they're more, they're, they're going to be like, Oh, like that, that's so cool that he's trying to speak our language. Like, cause they understand it'd be difficult. Um, but what I've learned is that you know, even though a lot of times my vocabulary wasn't perfect, I still got the message across because I was using my body language. I was uh, emoting with intonations and 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 leveraging my my tonality. And it's the same thing in sales. Oftentimes, we've all we've heard the the phrase, "It's not what you say, but how you say it," and it's a hundred percent true. The tonality, the tonality that you deliver it with, your body language your a certainty and congruency in, in what you're expressing oftentimes carry way more communication and, and message than the actual words that you're using. And I think it's a key distinction to, to understand. Second thing I learned while living in Columbia was um, learning by osmosis is the best form of learning. What does that mean? What does osmosis mean? <coughs> Sorry guys, coming off a of, a little cold still, but um, osmosis means learning by immersing ourselves in an environment. So, you know, being in Colombia and learning Spanish, where everything around me was Spanish, Spanish restaurants, Spanish menus, um, people speaking Spanish, obviously, uh, street signs, you can't help but soak it up and subconsciously pick up more um, nutrients and, 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 and what you're trying to get and what you're trying to learn and, 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 and soak up than just by just being there. You know, people ask me when I was in Colombia, you know, is it hard learning Chinese? Well, you know, being raised in a Chinese family, I, I would, I would, been, I'm, I don't know exactly how hard it would be, but knowing what I do know about the language, I would say if you're trying to learn Chinese, move to China for six months, don't hang out with any American or, or, or European friends where you're going to speak English with and just force yourself to speak Chinese. I bet you in, in six to 12 months, you're going to speak way better Chinese and understand way better Chinese than if you were not to do that, okay? Learning by osmosis. And it's the same thing again in sales. If you're learning sales, dive right in. Surround yourself with other salespeople, salespeople who are being successful and soak up that good game, okay? Um, it makes all the difference. Learning by osmosis, surrounding yourself with the environment where it's inevitable for you to pick up distinctions and, and notice things. Um, the th third thing I, I learned while working abroad and, and living abroad was I was working out of a WeWork where I met these really cool internet entrepreneurs who were doing different things. One guy was like teaching um, 
like high schoolers to be better FIFA players and had like a subscription doing that. And other people were doing like lead generation um, for different companies, solar companies, whatever it might be. But all these people had a skill that they could leverage. And I learned while I was in Columbia that if you develop a skill set, whether it be sales, marketing, engineering, whatever, you know, software development, if you could leverage a skill set, then you could take that skill set and potentially live at it a lifestyle that you want um, by leveraging that. Uh, you know, you could find a remote job that, that offers, you know, sales done remotely. You could do that for marketing. You could do that for computing, computer um, engineering. So whatever it might be, I learned that if you can get good at a skill set, you can leverage that to live the lifestyle that you want, whether that's working remotely or whether that's just creating a, a, better, a better life or a better income for yourself. And obviously with this blog here, with this YouTube channel, uh, we're focusing on sales. So these are the top three things that I learned as it relates to sales and business as, as I lived in Columbia. Again, as a recap, communication is way more nonverbal than verbal. Number two, learning by osmosis is the best way to learn. And number three, um, find a skill that you can leverage, okay? Hope you guys got value out of this video. Check out the blog post too in the link below. Um, or if this is the blog post, you know, just read, read the blog post because there's sometimes there's different co uh, content in there. Um, but hope you guys got value out of this. If you did, please share with a friend. Uh, please share on social media. And I'll see you guys soon.